What's going on, everybody? I am at the gym. Uh, I went to sleep at like two. I woke up at four and I just could not go back to sleep. And it is now 620. I'm about to eat some Panera. I'm about to go into the gym. Really working out is like the main thing keeping me sane at the moment. Like one of the main things. I got like three things keeping me sane. Working out is definitely one of them. Got to go. Got to hit the gym because if not, I'm going to be out of shape. And not in the field that I want to be in. Double whammy. You want to eliminate the amount of whammies that your life is getting hit with. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do some chest and some shoulders. I'm going to record uh, as much as I can without being weird. I don't know. I'd be feeling weird. And call it a day. So I'm back from the gym and I feel pretty good. It was a nice little chest day, nice little shoulder day. Got a little pump going, but we're about to get into this lead code. Um, I did two lead code problems before I started recording this. I did the problem of the day, the problem of the day, which I did uh, before. And then I did the next problem in my lead code 150 and I'm going to go to work and then come back and probably do some more, maybe apply to some jobs. But, um, Nevertheless, I'm just going to go over the problem that I decided to make a video about a couple of days ago. So let's just look at my screen once I click the right button. Yeah, I have this solution, which works for the test cases given, but doesn't work for all the test cases. But um, this is maximum product with three numbers. Given an integer array nums, find three numbers whose product is maximum and return the maximum product. So as you can see, one times two times three is six, uh, two times three times four is 24, and negative uh, one, two, and three is negative six. So what I did was I created a J and a K to um, just kind of trail behind I, and then I created, you know, this max number of, you know, just just make it like really small, uh, really, yeah, really small, it's just a really small number, and then I created temp to like kind of, you know, compare for max. Um, and then I created this for loop and I made, I started two. So essentially it was just three times, two times one, but backwards so that, you know, once it hits the max, like the nums dot length, then it just stops multiplying all together. And then, you know, just J plus plus I plus plus. Um, if temp is greater than max, then max equals temp. And then you just return max. And yeah, you know, as you can see, this passes for all these test cases, but it's wrong because when you submit it, um, yeah, I got this being wrong. But as you can see here, negative 100 times negative 98 is a positive number that I don't know. And then you have all of that times four, which I'm assuming is this number down here. You know, why wouldn't it be? So how I fix this you you're probably wondering you know this code is probably bad you guys are probably laughing and you know call me an idiot but this is what the practice is for you know I'm sitting here and I'm putting in this work and I'm practicing and I'm making videos on it to learn and also 
sorry for not posting a lot but nevertheless this is what i did so int max equals uh integer dot min underscore value i believe that is the syntax for it but i have this here to just kind of yeah integer dot max value min value so instead of using that real big i mean real small number i'm using this you know just to be a little bit better you know plus i think i whatever and then what i'm doing is i'm sorting the array because these arrays don't be sorted uh some of them just out of order so you want to make sure that these arrays are sorted because in theory the largest number is going to be the biggest numbers in the array makes sense right and what you're going to do is just multiply the last three numbers after you sort it that would make sense there's those are the biggest numbers in the array it should give you the biggest product but in this case this doesn't work this is 24 i already went over the math on how it's lar larger so i'm going to create temp1 and temp2 right this is just what i did after i couldn't figure it out i looked it up and i tried to understand the the um the reasoning behind it but i was like really close to like solving it myself you know i was real close like i had the max gone i had i sorted the nums and i had it passing for all these just wasn't passing for this one man and i I got stuck. So I had to look at the solution, you know, and I've been watching a lot of Lee Code videos and they've been telling me to look at the solution, you know, don't kid yourself. So, but yeah, essentially what I had was, you know, you, you sort the arrays and then you have nums i, well, there is no i, but you know, actually, let me actually write it right. But um, nums dot length minus one and you're just gonna multiply this three times, times that minus two, times that minus three. Then you go down here, nums, well, I'm doing the same thing. Let me just copy this whole thing. But here, this is the part I was missing. This is what is gonna check for A situation like this wait why did I do max min value I don't need this okay so <laughs> you just sort the arrays and then you just do this and I can just return max sorry is math dot max is it capital I think it's lowercase math dot max temp oh that's not good wow I was not typing well temp one or temp2 and it should return the biggest between the two now this one is the first case scenario where you can just multiply the last three numbers and if that's smaller than if you have uh, two negative big numbers well two negative really small numbers which will make it a positive really big number here and the last one then you just kind of you know you get you return the largest number and as you can see, this passes, this passes. So yeah, I just wanted to get some coding in here because I'm still a coding channel. I'm not, like even though I'm trying to like do a little bit of like vlogs and stuff, I, I still, I know my vlogs aren't like the best. I, I just be trying to incorporate some coding in there. But there's this one thing that I wanna talk about before I go to work, which I'm supposed to leave in five minutes. But that's, that's enough time. I'm not going to edit this video until I get back home. So I've learned that this moment of my life is very crucial for time management. Now, I started reading Digital Minimalism by Kyle Newport. Also, I saw him in person. Um, I went to the bookstore that he was going to be at, and I didn't stay long, honestly. It was like a lot of people in there, and I was just standing. And, you know, it, but it was cool to see him for the short amount of time that I did. And, you know, he was just talking, I really like how he just kind of goes over 
you know, being productive and everything. But I've been just listening to like his podcast a lot, like deep questions. I've just been listening to it a lot. And I, I read Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. And uh, while reading it, I deleted social media off my phone for two weeks. Now, I know I'm supposed to do it for 30 days. I still consider myself doing the digital declutter, uh, even though I kind of failed for like for the weekend. Um, I checked Instagram on Saturday to make sure that there was a skate party still happening. And I kind of scrolled a little bit. But like all in all, throughout the whole weekend, it was still less than an hour. Like um, between Saturday, Sunday and this morning, it was probably less than an hour. I took social media off my phone for the period of time for reading it and I'm still kind of going with it and I've just noticed time has started moving very slow like I used to wake up and just get on my phone and just start scrolling social media and reddit and you know twitter sometimes x sorry x sometimes and I just noticed that like I I would get to the gym late and by the time I want to start doing my lead code questions I'm like 30 minutes behind on, you know, what I've originally planned for. And next thing you know, it's like five and I just finished all the stuff. Now, I'm getting everything done, which is good. I'm still reading the amount that I wanted to read, you know, my goal amount. I'm still coding the amount that I want to code, but I'm just doing it later. I'm not doing it at the times that I've been planning to do it. And I still kind of am, you know, experimenting with this. Uh, the whole time management thing and just getting more done and being productive. I'm trying to do quality work and actually be the best that I can be so that when I have an opportunity to have a good uh, interview, I am in tip top shape. I've been studying the most effective that I have been and getting the best hours that I can get in in order to pass the coding interview, the technical, everything and then get a job. You know, like I have a schedule of my goals. It's to leak code, apply for five jobs, work on your website, you know, well, my website, you know, work on the website. And these things are like, they take some time, but deleting social media off my phone really helped me get very productive and also scheduling my time. When you are off, you know, because like I do have a part-time job, I do work at retail, but I'm not working a lot. And even if I am working, I try to make sure that I get the things done and like schedule things out. So like I know I'm able to do the things that I want to do every day within these certain amount of times. It might not be before work every time like I would like it to be, but it may be it's a little bit before work and the rest after work or everything after work because I work too early or everything before work because I work really late, you know? So scheduling the time to do things in notion calendar which is great because it like just syncs with apple calendar and like apple be like hey you scheduled this but anyway scheduling all that out and just being able to just kind of have a plan for myself and not really think because i used to just just wing it you know just wake up okay i know i want to code today i'm just going to do some coding and the next thing you know like it's nighttime and i've only been working on one thing and i'm like oh but i didn't leak code today but i guess i'll just do that tomorrow now everything is fixed and in a time block like i mean sometimes i do kind of go off schedule it's okay because you know i just go home and i get all the things done and now even though i don't have a job and even though i keep getting these rejection letters i don't feel like i'm not working hard to get it because it's one thing to always get rejected but it's another thing to always get rejected and feel like you're not doing anything to be better. So even though I'm getting rejected, I know I'm bettering myself. I know that I'm a better programmer than I was a month ago, two months ago. I've, I've been so consistent. Get rid of your distractions and you'll probably be more productive and you'll probably be able to actually gain a lot more. Thank you for watching my video. It's Jordan the Computer Scientist. Like, comment, and subscribe and join my discord the link is going to be in the description follow me on instagram and x my name on x is jordan cs my name on instagram is jordan cs.js and i am going to go to work and see all of you in my next video thank you for watching I'm